Okay, so here's H28. This should be fast. Um, here we're getting used to comparing the intermediate value theorem and the mean value theorem. So um, intermediate value theorem, if W is between F of A and F of B, and F is continuous on the closed interval AB, then there must exist a value C between A and B for which F of C equals W. Okay, and then over here is is uh, is how we would for, format an explanation using the intermediate value theorem to prove or to explain why um, a continuous function takes on a certain output value, like on um, the given interval. Okay, then the mean value theorem. Um, if f is continuous on the closed interval AB and differentiable on the open interval AB then there must exist a value C between A and B for which F prime of C is equal to F of B minus F of A over B minus A, all right? So um, the intermediate value theorem is how you explain that the function itself achieves a certain output, but then the mean value theorem is how you explain that the derivative that the slope of the tangent line achieves a certain value, okay? So, and then the explanation would go something like this if you were using the mean value theorem. Okay, so um, on the practice, this is just like the practice, I'm just going to do a couple examples. So the directions, state whether the given statement is the conclusion of the intermediate value theorem or the mean value theorem, and then part B, what information would we need in order to arrive at the given conclusion? So part B is really asking, like, you know, how would you format your explanation in order to state the given conclusion? All right. So number one, the conclusion needs to be that R of T equals negative 2 for some T between negative 1 and 6. All right, well, guys, if it's not, if it says the function value itself, if, if the function itself achieves a certain value, not its derivative, then that is the IVT. Okay, not derivative. I guess. I don't know. Okay, uh, so that's the intermediate value theorem. Um, now, for part B, we're going to use um, this explanation format. All right. So we're going to need to say these things. We're going to need to say this first, and then we're also going to need continuity. Okay, so basically if we can say those two things, then, you know, then our explanation would be all set up to go, you know, therefore by the intermediate value theorem, and then we would have what we want. All right, so we, if we see say these two things in our explanation, then boom, we've got this. Okay, so first we need... Um, you know, to get the outputs at the endpoints of our interval. So the endpoints of our interval are negative 1, 6. So we need to say that R of negative 1 equals something, R of 6 equals something. And what is an intermediate value? Negative 2. And negative 2 is an inter immediate value, meaning that negative 2 is between these, these outputs that we get. We don't have the function and we don't have a table, so we have to just use placeholders or blanks. Okay, so here we have said this part. Now we need to say this part. Okay, so this is the first part. All right, so first we need to say that, and then we need to say... Um, that R is continuous on the closed interval from negative 1 to 6. 
and that's it. Okay, now we will do number two. So this time the conclusion is that a prime of c equals zero for some c uh, between four and five. So um, this time, guys, it's the mean value theorem. You know because it involves a derivative. So mean value theorem. If it says the derivative equals some number, here if it says function, function, original function equals some number. Derivative of original function equals some number. Okay, so that's how you'd know. So, um, yeah. All right, so we want this to be our conclusion. What do we need to say first? And let me get a different color. Oh, no, maybe I'm, I'm good. Okay, so first we need... It's blurry. Okay, so first we need to say... Um, you know, what the average rate of change is on the interval. Then we need to say that the function is continuous on the closed interval. And then we need to say that the function is differentiable, meaning its derivative exists everywhere on the open interval. So there's no sharp corners. There's no, yeah, there's no sharp corners. Um, yeah, it's just like a smooth, continuous curve. Okay, so first we need to say, um, so a, not a prime, but a, a of 5 minus a of 4, all over 5 minus 4 equals blank. Right, we need to find out what that average rate of change is of the original function on the interval. Then we need to say a is continuous on the closed interval from 4 to 5. And then 3, a is differentiable on the open interval 4, 5. We say those three things, and then we can automatically say, therefore, by the mean value theorem, boom. Okay, guys, there it is.